This is my 555 oscillator with an IRFP 460 MOSFET, a transformer to power the 555 and a fan, a rectifier uh, to turn the AC into DC from the transformer, some smoothing capacitors so that the 555 gets a smoothed uh, power source, and that's basically it. Uh, Alright, uh, it uses an external power source for whatever it's driving, which in my case is an old laptop power supply. It's good for 24 volts at 0.8 amps. I get pretty good. Well, it's re it's uh, regulated and smoothed. I tried to smooth it with another capacitor and it didn't change it, so apparently it's smoothed pretty well. This is actually bright purple, if you can't tell, but it's a pretty hot, it's pretty much a flame. It doesn't look like it on the camera. As you can see, by the bright light, it's melting the metal, the uh, pin. It can run high frequency transformers as well as low frequency transformers by just changing a little capacitor. So uh, it can run at many different frequencies adjustable by the potentiometer on top. It can also be used as pulse width, modulation, motor, con motor speed control. The higher the the higher the frequency, the slower it is. Right now it's not even spinning, but as I turn up the frequency, I also made a homemade flyback transformer. It's just a ferrite core from an old flyback, and I wound a few hundred turns of uh, 28 gauge insulated wire. It's two layers of wire, and I insulated the two layers with some transparencies, and, and because it's AC. It can work as a plasma globe. Oops, I have it hooked up wrong. There we go. And it's pretty high current, but relatively low voltage. It melts. It melts this wire in just a few seconds.
if this is fairly thick wire it's probably around uh, 20 gauge actually it's probably around 18 to 16 The filament's broken, so it arcs across the uh, two things that held the filament. So, if I put high voltage through it, it glows very brightly. It's because it's burning the glass inside of there, and it's also melting the uh, the things that hold the filament. As you can see, it's red. it and the MOSFET is relatively cool I suppose hope you enjoyed it